I just graded some work for my oldest from her independent work and now I'm going to get set up for um, math and language arts for my younger daughter and so I thought you'd, I'd take you along with me. Um, over here on my shelf I have a little container for each of my kids so I'm going to grab her math book and then right here I have my stuff so I'm going to grab my math book and take it to the table. All right, so this is today. We're supposed to be doing 28.1. Um, I have these little tabs here. I love having these tabs, but it's on the lesson from yesterday. So we're gonna go to the right lesson. And here it is. <clears throat> all right, right away, I can see that I need base 10 blocks. Now I have all of my math supplies. Oh, don't judge the messy card. Right here, um, the unfortunate thing is I have the smaller pack. I only have one of these 100 block. So um, luckily in this book, they have some black lines. So I think I'm gonna make some copies to um, make some of these 100 blocks. So back here, she has all this stuff that you can print off. And I think I saw one right here. All right, so I'm gonna go make some copies so we have some of these for our lesson. Okay, so I got these printed out, so that's ready to go. And then I'll keep these out because we'll need those as well. Um, and then the next thing I do is just read through the lesson to see what I'm gonna have to do. That really helps with this math with confidence if I read it ahead of time. Otherwise, I kind of get lost. Um, she always has a warm up here. I don't always do it. I really just do it based on what I think my daughter needs. Um, so reading through this, I might quiz her on the size of, a sh of um, these shapes, but I might skip the other two today. Um, and then I've got, this one here where we're gonna start looking at these numbers and using the blocks. And so in a second, I'm gonna make a little table to compare that here on our table. Um, and then we have a game to play with a deck of cards. And she always tells you, you need a deck of cards, tens and face cards removed. So I'm gonna get that ready right now. My cards are in this little math bucket here too. Um, I really should probably just get some regular cards that aren't so distracting, but this is what I have. And so it's been working and I'll get those cards ready to go. Okay, so these are ready. Um, it only takes, you know, 30 seconds to pull that out, but that 30 seconds is gold when you're trying to get through a lesson. So I always like to do it ahead of time. Um, the other thing I always have ready for us is, um, this is just a dry erase pocket. We use it as a board. Um, I have a marker ready um, and a, some type of eraser that we can um, use if we need this. So I have this ready as well. All right, so I'm gonna set up the chart on the table um, and then we'll do the next step. Okay, so I just write directly on this table. This is not a dry erase table, but it comes off. Um, my kids end up using it a lot too. And what I need to do is get like a magic eraser and really clean it well, um, but it does have some residue on it. But this is really nice because I can make it as big as I want. Um, so that chart is ready for the lesson. The last thing I'm gonna do is look at the workbook page and just kind of see what it is. And then I wanna glance at the review side to see how much of the review I think we can accomplish as well. Um, when we start the lesson, I'll set a timer for 20 minutes. My goal will be to finish this page and then we'll pick and choose from the back page um, as we can in the time that I give her. Okay, I hope that was helpful, especially if you are thinking about Math with Confidence, um, using it in the future. Um, it's, there's definitely some prep involved, but once I got the curriculum and got used to it, it became a lot quicker and a lot more um, easy to do. Um, this kind of teacher intensive, must follow the rules is not really my style. I kind of like to do my own thing with curriculum. However, um, with my daughter, this has been a really good fit for her. Um, she likes the hands-on, she likes the games, um, and it's really helped her in her math. So even though, um, it's not exactly my style of teaching. It's been better for her and I love that I can be flexible and really give her everything that she needs um, to be successful. So hope that helped. Mommy, go watch this. Yeah, oh. Don't don't blow, don't blow. You did it.